However, what exactly is prompt traveling and what motivates us to integrate it with the animate diff extension? We'll talk about this at a later time. Let's dive into the wonderful realm of animated GIFs. Prior to embarking on the thrilling adventure of crafting GIF animations, it's imperative to ensure that we have the necessary extension in place. Let's open up the Stable Diffusion UI and navigate to the Extensions tab. Click on the sub-tab Available. Now click on Load From Button and search for Animate Diff. And finally click on Install. For optimal utilization of the Animate Diff extension, it is advisable to obtain a motion module by downloading it directly from the Hugging Face website. You can conveniently locate the download link in the description below. Commence by visiting the official Hugging Face website where you can access the Animate Diff motion files. While there, make sure to download the latest motion module, the MMSDV 15 v 2 CKPT file. However, don't hesitate to explore and download the other modules if you prefer. After acquiring the motion module, move the file to the following directory structure. Stable Diffusion Web UI, Extensions, SD Web UI Animated If, Model. After you've completed the installation of the extension and motion module, go to the Installed tab and click on Apply and Restart UI. Furthermore, I strongly advise you to conduct a full restart of your stable diffusion for a smooth experience and to mitigate any potential errors. If the installation is completed successfully, you will find an additional drop-down menu in both the Text 2 Image and Image 2 Image tabs. To access additional information about the Animate Diff extension, please feel free to explore the official GitHub page, link is in the description. Let's navigate to the Text 2 Image tab and scroll down to locate the Animate Diff dropdown, where we will adjust the settings for crafting our GIF animation. When configuring your Animate Diff settings, make sure to check the checkbox labeled Enable Animate Diff. For the Motion module, it's recommended to use MMSD v15 v2 CKPT file, although you have the freedom to experiment with various motion modules for different effects. We will work with a total of 48 frames and set the frames per second FPS at 8, which will give us a 6 second GIF or video animation. Later in the process, we'll employ prompt traveling to precisely fine tune specific styles or appearances at designated time frames within the prompt. For the closed loop, we will opt for the option A. This choice indicates that the extension will actively work to ensure the last frame mirrors the first frame, creating an interpolated closed loop for a seamless transition. Lastly, choose the save format as GIF, although you also have the option to select MP4 if it better suits your preferences. The remaining settings can be left at their default configurations. Moving forward, our next task involves refining the text-to-image settings, with a special focus on harnessing prompt traveling within the prompt text field to influence the outcome of our GIF animation. Our objective is to introduce prompt modifications every 16 frames, equivalent to a two-second interval. So let's continue with this approach. Prompt traveling is a method that empowers you to finally adjust your positive prompt, granting you enhanced control over precise elements at specified time points, frame numbers, during the creation of your GIF or video. You'll observe that our prompt appears distinct from the usual format, as it involves prompt traveling. The first line represents the head prompt, which is not required. You have the flexibility to include multiple lines of head prompts, the head or base prompt serves as the foundational input for determining the overall appearance of the resulting video or GIF. The lines that follow are utilized for implementing prompt traveling. The pattern begins with a frame number, separated by a colon, followed by a space, and the specific prompt adjustments you intend to make at that particular time frame. It's essential to maintain the sequential order of your frame numbers. These prompts represent the alterations scheduled for distinct time frames in conjunction with the primary prompt if you have included one. Within the text to image segment of the Stable Diffusion interface, our next step involves configuring specific settings. We begin by selecting a checkpoint that is customized for the style of the GIF animation. When it comes to crafting cartoon style GIFs, the Toon You checkpoint is especially advantageous for our purpose. Naturally, the link to access this model is conveniently provided in the description below. Given the information furnished alongside this 2 new checkpoint, our choice for the sampling method will be 
DPM plus plus 2M Keras. Additionally, it is suggested to set the sampling steps at 30 or higher, and in our scenario, we will opt for 30. Following that, we'll access the Hires Fix dropdown. For the upscaling process, we'll opt for the R Esergen 4X Plus Anime 6B upscaler. As for the upscaling steps, we'll choose 14, and the denoising strength will be set at 0 0.35. Our final step involves upscaling it with a factor of 2. As for the dimensions, we'll stick with a 916 aspect ratio. If you haven't added the fantastic Ratio Helper extension to your toolkit to enhance your workflow, you can effortlessly obtain it by going to the Extension tab in the top navigation bar and locating Ratio Helper within the Available sub-tab. Please make certain that in the text to image settings, the seed is set to minus one and that you've included a negative prompt. With all these configurations in place, we are now prepared to unleash the enchantment of animate diff combined with prompt traveling. You can set this process in motion with a straightforward click on the generate button. Once the rendering process is complete, we've successfully generated our cartoon style GIF animation with the assistance of prompt traveling it's evident that at every two-second interval, our final GIF dynamically transforms in accordance with the prompt adjustments we designated at specific frame numbers. Now, we'll embark on crafting another GIF animation, this time employing a more lifelike checkpoint. To achieve this, we'll utilize the Realistic Vision Checkpoint, available on the Civit AI website. You can conveniently locate the link in the description. This particular checkpoint plays a crucial role in creating hyper-realistic GIFs. According to the documentation available on the Civit AI website, we'll need to make some minor adjustments to the settings, let's proceed. In order to attain the optimal results for this realistic vision checkpoint, we will modify the sampling method to Euler A and collapse the drop-down menu containing the high-resolution fix upscaling options. This adjustment is necessary as we intend to employ the Add Detailer extension. If you haven't installed it yet, you can find a link to a video tutorial located just above. This extension guarantees that the resulting GIF animation will feature a highly detailed face. With these settings in place, we can now proceed by clicking the Generate button and initiating the rendering process. Let's take a moment to appreciate the remarkable GIF we've just generated and witness prompt traveling in action. If you have a passion for creating hyper-realistic GIFs, including face swaps, we've prepared a dedicated YouTube video addressing this topic. We hope you've relished this exciting journey of crafting GIFs with animated if and harnessing the power of prompt traveling, and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our next adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.